You guys ready to go get something to eat? Let's do it. Let's do it. Welcome to Hunt and Gather with the Chatters. Today we're at Flaming Gorge going after lake trout. This is uh, not our first trip out here, but this is the first trip this late in the year. So we're hoping that we can still get a lot of trout and uh, maybe even have a few meals while we're out here. We'll see about catching some rainbows, but specifically targeting lake trout. Are you guys ready to go get something to eat? You ready, Fern? Yeah, I'm excited. What about you, Aaron? Are you ready? I'm ready, man. I've been counting seconds for this. I know, me too. Let's do it. Uh, this is the rig we're using, a little three and a half inch rib swim bait. And we're in about 30 to 70 feet of water. Throw it out till it hits the bottom, keep letting slack out. And then you're just jigging it a few feet, uh, keeping it close to the bottom. All right, we're out here and we got our swim jigs on and just hoping for some magic. It's only been a couple minutes and Cindy already hooked on. Does he feel good? He feels pretty good, yeah. I just don't want to lose him. The first That's fish it. is always a gamble. He's wanting to run a little bit. I want to see it. We were about 50 feet deep. Yeah. Is that him? That's him. Wow. He might be a big one. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's, there he is, yep. Oh, he's so pretty. He's so beautiful. He's decent. He's a good one. Isn't it funny? Underwater, they kind of look like a, a salmon. Bring him over here. Yeah! Oh, first fish! Nice first fish of the trip right there. Awesome. Oh, he's huge. Hold that guy. Hold him up. He is really good. Hold him, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's probably five. I need to hold him. That is a nice fish. Congrats, we're gonna put him on the stringer. Oh yeah, baby. Woohoo! Do you have one? Yeah. How long has it been since we've had a bite? Oh man, this is probably three hours for me. And this is your first one? First one. Let's see if you get it. Fern, can you be netter? Well, Fern's ready to net. Aaron's ready to bring that fish up, and I'll be ready to capture it, guys. But then I also like would like a uh, fish to fish size comparison. You got an important job, Fern. Oh, I see him down there. Yeah. Oh, yep, I can too. He looks good. Yeah, he's a good one. I'll try to swing him over this way, okay? He's a good one, Fern. Can you get him? He's real spotty. Can you get him? Yeah. Oh, he's not going to fit inside there. Yeah, we'll get him. Get him in there. Oh, get him in the I can't awesome, man. Oh, gosh. He's a nice fish. That's awesome. I think he's maybe a little bit bigger than mine. Good job, hon. He's prettier. Woo! Okay, this is the morning catch, day one. Yeah, that's awesome. They were um, definitely hard to come by, but they're a very quality fish. No way. Yeah, that's awesome. Look what John just caught. Yeah, he's under one of these rocks. And he's real cold, so he's not moving so 
too quick, but he's big. He's awesome. Yeah, he looks... Well, if we don't catch any fish, we'll have an appetizer. Absolutely. Oh, wow, that's a good looking fish. Let me see it! Oh, that is massive. That's awesome! Hold it up again! All right, the sun's just coming up. Me and Aaron are on day two, getting comfy in the raft. It's actually really comfortable considering. Have you had any hits yet? Nothing yet. All right, well, let's give it a whirl. Hopefully we'll get lucky. All right, we were trolling out and Cindy actually hooked onto a fish why I was worn out. So does that mean he's half mine and half yours? Yeah, he's a 50-50 fish. Uh, good chance it might be a rainbow because it was why we were moving. I'm hoping for a kokanee. I've never caught a kokanee. Man, how cool would that be? You can bring him uh, either side. Did he throw it? Okay. Okay. Well, that's you all right. You got one? I got one. After how many hours? It's been uh, probably 12, maybe 16 hours since the last hit. So that's what hope gives you is success. We're in 60 feet of water, so it'll be interesting, you know. It could be fairly good size. Does it feel good? It feels good. Oh, I see him. I did not, oh, I see him too. Oh gosh, he looks really nice, honey. Okay. That's a nice one. See if you can get him in there. Bring him in the raft as soon as you can. Nice. All right. Excellent, hon. Here, this is your fish. I'd say he might be close to six. He's that's awesome, a, honey. That's a nice fish. You did really good. Should we stick around for a little bit longer? Uh, yeah, we're already anchored. So. Fern had a bite, but I guess she didn't hook it. She's got a night crawler there on the bottom. Look at that antelope out there swimming. That's, I'm pretty sure it's gonna swim all the way across Flaming Gorge. That's amazing. I can't even believe it. You hardly ever see him come into water, let alone swim in the water. Yeah, he's going for it. He's going to go all the way. Wow. All right, Aaron's got another one. Does he feel pretty good? He feels okay, yeah. Was this 45 feet of water? Uh, yeah, around 45, 50 feet. Let me get this net off real quick. Hold on. I can see him. Trying to get the net free, or you, maybe you can just Thanks net him yourself. Yeah, baby! Awesome, hon. Good job. All right. It you paid off. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. Oh, I... We got in a little hot spot here. He looks good sized. Excellent hunt. Another nice fish. Oh, he's whipping. Super cool. Great job. He's enough for tonight. Yeah, I think so.
All right, so we got the fire going. We're waiting for coals. In the meantime, I've made an aluminum tray out of foil. And all I did was lay the fish in here. This is a fatty enough fish that I don't even need to grease the sheet or anything. And ultimately, when it's all said and done, I can throw away the tray and it's just a really easy cleanup. But for those of you who've never cooked over a fire, you don't want to cook directly on the, the fire. You want to let it uh, break down a little bit and you're just going to be cooking on coals. All I'm going to do for my flavorings tonight, I've got some Montreal steak seasoning, the spicy kind, and I've got some soy sauce. I'm going to go ahead and put on my soy sauce. This is also a really easy condiment to pack on a camping trip too, so I like that. All right, and then I will do a sprinkle of the Montreal. But we're gonna go ahead and we'll get it on those coals once the fire's died down a little bit, and then we'll cook it for about 15 minutes. All right, so check it out. It's kind of cool. We're making corn on the cob, but we left the corn in the husk. Uh, John's working on that. I've actually never done this. I'm pretty excited to give it a try. Uh, we'll see if it's toasty in certain parts or moist and well cooked throughout. Um, more to come on that. But in the meantime, our coals are ready for our, our fish. So I'm going to go ahead and set our homemade tray down on two rocks that I laid down just to kind of support it so that it's not directly on the fire. And we'll let it we'll let the fire work its magic. Oh man, um, we're, we're almost done. We're gonna re-situate the fish. Do one more hot plate top cook and we'll be in business. got our cooked lake trout and the corn and I'm gonna be lying if I say this is my first bite because I already snuck a bite and it's awesome. I really really love it. Uh, the Montreal seasoning might have made it a little bit too salty because I did put a lot of soy sauce but all in all first lake trout in two years. Thanks for watching Hunt and Gather with the Chatters.